Hey folks, I'm standing out front of number 3 Princess Anne in the highly sought after neighborhood of the south end of St. Catharines, right near the corner of Glenridge and Glendale. If you want to come take a look at it, please see this video first and we'll shoot you an application and we'll get you set up. Now, just behind the houses across the street, you can see the escarpment. This is a dead end street here. It's an amazingly quiet neighborhood, great for kids. I'm going to quickly show you the street so you can get an idea of what the neighborhood that you might live in looks like. Here we go. All right, you can see there just ahead of us. That is the end of the circle at the dead end of the street. So you know the only people driving down this road are going to be your neighbors. And you can see the escarpment behind the houses across the road. Look at how nicely maintained and upkept these houses are. This is a gorgeous street. Tons of parking on the road. Nice, deep lots. Just beautiful. Look at the size of that garage. Check out the size of this driveway. This place is a home run. Let's go see the yard in the back. Okay, so here we are in the backyard. Okay. There's a full fence on that side and a full fence right behind me. The only place there's not a fence is in that little strip along the back. But you could easily get that put in. I'm sure the landlord wouldn't mind if you wanted to do that. Unless, of course, you don't care, then what's the difference? That door goes into your garage, which is a big garage, as I mentioned. Those two windows look at the kitchen. And right there, there's a door that leads you into the back of the kitchen as well. Let's go check out the inside of the house. This is a very important feature as well. On the front of the house, you'll notice we've got brand new windows, vinyl windows with brand new caulking and capping on them. Why is that important to you? Because you're paying the utilities. The biggest way to lose your, your nice warm and cool air is by seeping air coming through the cracks. This is not going to be the case with these windows. So that's good news for you. Plus the roof has been updated as well. Okay, upon entry of the house, you've got this big formal front foyer with a big front closet there for all your coats, boots, and shoes, and so forth. Then you come in here, you've got nice hardwood floors. Don't mind the lighting, my camera does not do a very good job, it automatically makes things darker than they actually are, but you do have a nice fireplace and big windows there as well. Don't mind the junky furniture, that'll be removed as well. But uh, the house comes as it is, it's been fully cleaned, detailed meticulously. However, if you want to paint it, it'll make it look a million times better, because it is just plain white right now. You'll even notice that these beautiful tiles on the floor, uh, even the trim on the bottom has been done with tiles all the way up the halls and everything. That makes it really easy to clean, so you don't have to worry about trim getting dirty and scuffed and so on. This is bedroom number one. This big window. This is bedroom number two. With two big corner windows. All of the rooms, by the way, every single one of them, has a nice big double closet just like that. Okay, now we're at the end of the hall. Here's bedroom number three. Okay. And here we have a big linen closet. Can't see in there, but that's what it is. Okay, and we're going here into the bathroom. Okay, you got a nice funky green tub. Don't worry about that though, folks, because you're going to put a nice big uh, shower curtain there. The guests won't even see the green tub, but the bathroom is really nice. You got a beautiful vanity, beautiful new toilet. Everything's nice and clean tiles and everything. Just a nice shower curtain will hide the green tub. So if we come back down the hall this way, here's your big dining room. Don't be alarmed by the vents. That is a forced air vent. They just made them, they used to make them 24 inches wide and it's a long, narrow forced air vent. It's your dining room, back end of the kitchen, little nook there for putting snacks and things out like a buffet. Here's your dishwasher, ceramic tiles. There's your double basin sink overlooking the backyard. Here are all of the kitchen cabinets. Looks great. Let's go see the basement. We're going down to the basement. I'm running out of time on my video, so if it cuts you off, please send me an email off the Kijiji ad right away, and we'll shoot you an application. We'll approve it, and then the place is yours. But this is a big, huge bedroom down here. Huge room. You could easily use this as a rec room. There's a big walk-in closet.